Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome to a brand new series of Interstellar Transport Company. That's right, we're going to give this game another shot because they have put out another patch. Just came out, version 0.2.0, big patch here with a new ship and some uh, new modes and uh, my favorite edition, hotkeys for the game speed. So I've tried to get a couple of games started and I'm going to be honest, they have really ramped up that AI. It is improved and kind of tough. So... Um, even though I was very good at this game when it was brand new, we are actually going to drop down a level. We're only going to play on hard difficulty, and uh, let's see how um, let's see how well we can do uh, with our ship hall carry co. Um, and uh, we're going to put it on yellow plus two. Ah, I went too far. Cyan is the color I like. There we go. We're going to go with cyan. We're going to accept, and we're going to see how things look here. Hopefully we can survive. I have had a couple of false starts on this series because, like I said, the game has just gotten better. Either that or it's just been too long. Oh, that was weird. Uh, just been, hey, wait a minute. What the? Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, been too long since I played and I've forgotten how to play this game. Um, but, uh, yeah. So uh, we've got these new ship modes. We will look at them in a minute. But in the meantime, I'm going to set up our first routes as usual. New route, add stop, Earth, and Luna. Add stop number two, Luna. There we go. And this is going to be 3, 3A, three save, save, I say. There we go. Uh, we start with $250,000. How is that financial situation? $100,000 of that is a loan. All right. That is about what I expected. So we're going to come here. We're going to go ahead and buy up a couple of gates. We're going to go to Luna. Going to buy up two gates there as well. That's easy. There we go. Great. Okay, that leaves us $180,000. So we go to the ships. Um, we can buy these good ships right at the very start. I like it. Let's do it. We're going to load this one up with food. Launch it. Let's go ahead and start, start the clock. Order that ship. We're going to empty that out. We're going to load this one up with water. We're going to get that one going here as soon as uh, I want to wait till the 6. There we go. We're going to empty that one out, and then we're going to load it up with uh, not those kind of passengers, those kinds of passengers, and we'll leave room for a few. Uh, there we go. A few business class passengers as well. Earth to Luna. Beautiful. Close you down. Close you down. We should be in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and put a taxi station in here on Earth. Uh, because these guys really do take a long time. Wow, that's going to take all of our money, too. So there we go. Now we are uh, running. Let's see if we can survive. So one cool thing about the new setup here, as you can see, so this is the supply button. Obviously, Luna doesn't have any supply, but you can see the demand. Uh, we can see the demand for water as well. So now you don't have to click in here and, and go in deep to find out what the supply and demand looks like on each one. Um, um, now, I guess the problem is, is that as you, uh, uh, as you get further along, it will be less obvious. Um, mm, uh, you know, uh, one thing I want to do with our, our ships here, I want to rename these guys. Uh, so this is, uh, food 33A. Uh, save, please. There we go. Uh, this one will be water 3, 3A. And last but not least, passengers 3, 3A. Whoops. Let's try that again. P, 3, 3A. Great. Save. All right. Those are all good. Okay. We've got a little bit of money coming in. So I don't need to worry about that. If we... Let's purchase up one of those gates on Mars if we still can. Ah, oh, the AI beat us to it. I need to remember to buy up one of those gates at the very start. Shame on me. But that's okay. We, we're not going to be going to Mars right away. Uh, we have a little while to go yet. We'll see how... Uh, once, the, uh, once the demand for food or water starts dropping... Usually it's the demand for water that seems to drop first on me. Already up to sixty thousand dollars, so that's real good. Seventy thousand dollars. I 
don't think we can pay our loan off early. I suppose maybe we can. I don't think so, though. Go to finances. Um, hmm. Interestingly, we could. Okay, so we could pay off our loan early if we wanted to. That would have been a maybe a good idea to do that at the very start. Before even buying any ships or anything. Uh, but we'll... Uh, Actually, we can do it right now already. Let's go do that. Let's just take care. Of, let's get that loan out of the way. Um, because that interest rate is very, very high. Uh, and we're not making so much money that I really want to be paying those huge monthly payments at the end of the month. So our food water demand are staying high, which is great. Um, Earth and Luna. Passengers staying strong. Still no upgrade over here on Mars, though. So we can't start sending any ships there. So we just need to be patient. Wait it out. Unfortunately, not enough. Uh, although there is quite a bit of food and water demand. Like, part of me is tempted to try to get a, another set of ships going back and forth there. I feel like that's just asking for a disaster, though. I, I could always divert them over to Mars when the time comes. But uh, we are making pretty good money. All right, let's see. Um, I could also, I could just upgrade Mars's spaceport, start sending ships this way. How's the, let's go back. Uh, there we go, I'll try to get in on Luna. There we are. So the food and water demand is staying strong. And the passengers, yeah, the passengers are definitely starting to shift over toward Mars. I just, I know that all I have to do is be patient and they will, and there's still only two AI in this. Just need to be patient and, and, and they'll upgrade this uh, Mars port soon enough. Or like Mercury will come online or something like that. Here the AI is already starting to carry stuff over to Mars, so they are, um, they are beating us uh, to that punch. Uh, I guess what I could do is uh, try to get a machinery ship going uh, back and forth. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, let's purchase a new ship. Let's do one of these guys, and uh, we'll put machinery on it. We're gonna go from Earth to Mar or Earth to Luna. Let's order that up. Uh, that's gonna be machinery three three A. Save. And uh, if I go to uh, routes, and we go to this route, and this will be wait for full load. And that's it. I guess I don't need to save it or anything. Wait for full load. Cool. All right. Close that down. Um, I suppose I'm going to need another. I'm going to need another gate on Earth eventually, anyway. So I may as well get it now. I've got the money. Um, have I put a uh, maintenance over here? I haven't. Let's do that. Because we are going to need that. Eventually the gate will upgrade. The spaceport will upgrade. New Starship, the D520 is available. That's a good one. Alright, there's our D500 going. Our machinery ship, basically. Hmm. The uh, water demand is definitely going down here. Um, here, I guess, um, how would I see if our machinery, oh, wait a minute, in transit. How's it in transit but has no profit? Are you not waiting for a full load? 
You definitely should be waiting for a full load since like those are the instructions that I gave you. I guess I don't need to have it at slow speed while we do that. Yeah. Oh, no, nope, it's got a full load. Wow. Is there no demand for machinery on Luna? Plenty of demand. So what's going on? This just delivered a load of machinery to, oh, okay. So it does have profits over here, but they're just not. So the profits aren't showing up over on this screen. Okay, okay, that 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 makes good sense. All right, uh, I would say we have enough money to where we can go ahead and upgrade Mars' spaceport ourselves. Let's do it. We're gonna buy out the two extra gates and uh, we're gonna set some ships uh, going back and forth between uh, uh, Earth and Mars. Um, so uh, first thing to do, let's, uh, can we pull any ships off of the lunar route? You know, I think I'm going to pull the water ship off the lunar route. Um, let's, uh, okay, so it must be on Mars right now. I mean, it must be on Luna right now. Nope. Earth to Luna. Got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set up our first, our, our route here. Uh, oh, dang it. There we are. Earth. Mars. 3, 4. Save. All right, close you out. Let's go to our ships. So this one is on Luna, and it's going to Earth. So we're going to change it to 3, 4. Save. Great. Okay. Now it should head to... Uh, head to Mars after this. All right, that's good. Close that down. Now I'm going to buy a um, 500 for food like that. And then I will buy a 500 for passengers. that beautiful three to four got it order ship close you down close you down and there we go we are delivering stuff uh oh, what did i do did i not change the name of that ship i swore that i did but all right uh so this will be um food three four save and here we'll have passengers, three, four, save, got it. And uh, I'm gonna set up a ship for um, for uh, machinery going to Mars. Good, order. I don't know what that was all about. We go to our route here, we change this, Earth. Uh, wait for full load. Good. And on this one, I actually want to have this set to next demand. So according to this, next demand, ships will only pick up enough cargo here to satisfy the current demand of the next stop on the route. Okay. So it won't pick up any food if there's not any demand for food on Luna. But that way it'll still come here and it'll still pick up um, rare resources uh, to take back home, uh, which we definitely want to be able to do. So, all right, we've got our new ships heading out to Mars, so that's good. Obviously, the AI is also sending some of their ships out to Mars, so we are not alone in that. I think we'll end up being okay. Um, not a whole lot of demand for food and water. Ah, enough, enough. So it's like it's got a half full bar of demand, but the color is orange, which is weird. There we go. Some money being made. And these ships should get us a uh, reasonable profit as well. And um, we can uh, start boosting up the back and forth of uh, stuff. Now, is that a third ship of ours? Oh, yeah, that's that machinery one, huh? 
but it's not full. Why? That's what, why would you run empty like that? Earth, machinery, okay. Huh. All right. Well, you know, live and learn, I guess. No use crying over spilled milk. A couple more ships. Back and forth. Oh, Mercury. When did Mercury open up? Almost got a spaceport there. Kind of tempted to, to get it going myself, but... I'm gonna wait till till it upgrades to the next level, then I'll upgrade it to level four so I can send this class of ship over there. I really don't like sending those very early classes of ship. They're pretty worthless. All right, good. Plenty of passengers here going to Mars, so I don't need to worry about that. Demand is staying reasonable on Mars. It's not great, but it's staying up there well enough. Uh, good profits. How are we doing versus the AI? Company net worth, staying competitive, good. So the AI is staying competitive with us too, which I like to see. I wanna see a good competitive game. Spaceport on Mars, it's been upgraded, but I think that was a little bit ago. How do you close this silly thing? I guess with a big X in the corner, dum-dum? Yeah, level five spaceport, which is all well and good. Here on Luna, oh, food and water and consumer goods are in demand, huh? You know what? Maybe they've fixed up consumer goods in such a way that they've become interesting. Um, let's find out. I'll give it a shot. So if we do ship, hmm, I guess, yeah. So to get consumer goods there, we would have to be meeting their demand for food. So I guess we could put a full full on food ship, but I wanna be taking, although looks like somebody else is already taking their raw materials back from Luna. Hmm. I'd have to set up a whole new, a whole new route to do that, Mars does not, I mean, they supply some raw materials, but not enough to really make it worth going back and forth, just like their demand for consumer goods is not really strong enough to justify setting up a consumer good route. Um, reasonable passenger uh, demand there. I just need that AI to update that. We are uh, uh, doing pretty good on money, so it's, um, hmm. Nothing is open. How can you get just like a normal, uh, I would just like to see, I guess population would show, like the blue ones have a population of zero. Yeah. What is that? Oh, government, colonist, business. Must be business class. Um, no, wait, that's uh, machinery. Got it, there's business. Tourist. Development, okay, that's development level. Does that have anything to do with supplier demand? Oh, huh, all right. Habitability. Ah, okay, so there's another way to see whether uh, whether they're viable or not. So I guess this is the one I was looking at for population. No, there's population, good, okay, cool. That's a good default one. Be nice if there was a spaceport level. Doesn't seem to be. What's that? Company reputation. Business. Hmm. 
All right. Well, interesting. Interesting. I like their overlays. Pretty handy, if you ask me. Still not going to stop me from popping in here and obsessing over the the minutia because I really do like looking at those details. Um, I think we can uh, set up a uh, duplication of our Mars ships. So let's do that. We're going to duplicate the uh, water. Uh, we're going to duplicate the food. And we're going to duplicate the passengers. Now, I was hoping that it would copy the names from the previous ones, uh, but that's OK. Um, we have uh, water, 3, 4. And here we have food, 3, 4. And on this one, we have passengers, 3, 4. Great. Passengers, 3, 4. Save, close. Uh, we're not up to level 6, are we? Still at level 5. Uh, up here, still at level two, so can't do much there. Don't really need an additional gate here. I think we're fine. I'm going to put an additional gate in on Earth, though. We've got plenty of cash, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. The only thing I want to do over here on Mars, we have a maintenance shed. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. We've got the money. That'll help us if we have any breakdowns. Now that we've got um, uh, multiple ships going back and forth, uh, might be a good idea to have. Uh, it's too bad they're all kind of clustered together like that. I mean, not much I can do about it now. I, I suppose what I would want to do would be to buy the new ships just as the old, you know what I mean, just as the previous ships were leaving. Uh, that way they would spread out. But uh, I don't know, they're kind of spread out a little bit. Still pretty well clustered together. Um, it's too bad you can't see whether you have any ships sitting in port by looking at the. Like I have this guy. Is that a? Uh, you know, I, I wonder if I have any. Uh, okay, yep. So there's a machinery ship waiting, and it's just waiting around to get more machinery stuff. So we've pretty much eliminated the food and water stuff um, going up to uh, up to Luna. Spaceport on Mars has been upgraded. Level 6. I'm going to go ahead and buy another gate. Um, level 6 means that we should be able to go with a better ship, right? Um, D520 requires level 6. So we could start sending these on our Mars route. Um, but we probably would want to do that when the Mercury route becomes viable, uh, because then we could shift our ships off of the Mars route and shift them onto the Mercury route. Uh, we would need quite a bit more money to be able to do that. But um, I think that that would be a... Uh, uh, interesting approach when we get to that point. Um, we can save up some money while we're waiting because right now uh, I feel like we're kind of, yeah, we're meeting all of Mars's demands, which means we're not going to be making a whole lot of money off of our ships going there right now. We have a lot of passengers that want to get to Mars. A number of passengers that want to get to Mercury too, actually. Um, you know, I might buy a couple of rockets to take care of that. Um, Let's do that. Let's gather, g grab up one of these. We're just going to load it up with those. I need to do a new route, though, to make that work, don't I? Route, new route, add stop, add stop. There we go. Uh, 3 1, save. Close. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Wait for full load. Quiet you. Close that up. And uh, we're going to do new ship. Rocket, passengers. Three, one, launch immediately. Order ship, give it a few days. Actually, we'll wait till the ship launches and then I'll order another one. Neptune rocket is launched immediately, got, got it, great. All right, so there we go. We've got passengers heading out to Mar or Mercury. Let's see how this uh, 
how well the second one does is if it's also full. That one's carrying food and water. Not my own, of course. There we go. Oh, good. Also full. Do we still have more passengers wanting to get out of there? Mm, some. All right. Uh, we'll do one more. I should be able to just uh, clone that one. Great. There we are. No need to even worry about it. Perfect. Let's see how much uh, we get paid for delivering those passengers here. Already they've, they're have they kind of saturated on food and water. Ah, nice. All right. And uh, Mars. Yeah, Mars is pretty much done with food and water. But um, we... Uh, uh, I mean, I feel like we're still going to be making money on it. I don't know. But... We are going to call that good for this episode. Looks like we're off to a good start here on hard mode. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you will enjoy this series. Uh, um, I uh, plan on playing this through as long as we can, as long as you guys enjoy watching. Oh, spaceport on Mercury has been upgraded. So we're going to upgrade it ourselves. And I'm going to buy up a couple of these gates. And we're going to put a... Uh, maintenance hanger on there great okay now we're going to end the episode uh thank you so much for watching everybody i hope you've had a good time um and i hope you'll join me again for the next episode which should be up real soon i'll see you then bye